And now we're back with the Wii. And um, like usual, just kind of having to talk to everyone here. Um, if you want to pause to listen to, or like, not listen, but like, if you want to pause to see what they're saying, be my guest, but uh, it's nothing I particularly care about in this version. Like, but I also like how the um, the shop is, <laughs> is a place you can go in in this in this version, but you never actually get to buy anything. Um, so this kind of kind of fun here. I did actually go back in the in the options menu um, and um, actually set the um, the controls properly. Like I I don't know what it was, but I had the GameCube controls, like, like the, um, uh, control mapping set to the GameCube, like, I ha for some reason, I, I don't know how that happened, uh, cause, like, I could still use the classic controller fine, but regardless, I went back in there and, uh, set it properly, so now we should get the right button prompts if that ever comes up again, um, but yeah, tune in, and, uh, see if there's, we got one of the four guy gate doors. Let's check it out. See what we have behind door number one of this place, anyway. Not in not <laughs> these areas in general. Break that. Okay, we need. Okay, we need to transform. Um, can I open this? Nope. A lot of these are kind of a blur to me. I don't remember how a lot of these work, so you're gonna have to bear with me for a little bit a lot of this stuff. No, just wait. That's the one downside of this, like you have to wait for it to transform back when you need to. Um Get a, li a life here. It's handy. And we have to change, transform back again. <laughs> Alright. And what, what are you? Doing? Soundtrack. Still more though. More soundtracks. Okay. Cool. Now we can get out of it. Um, not anything too um, crazy, but hey. Music is music. And all these, yeah, all those are locked. Okay, fair enough. And, um, oops. <laughs> yeah, I, I mentioned this earlier, but. You never actually have to open this door, um, but I'm just doing it so it doesn't annoy me. But yeah, it's kind of funny how that works. I do like how I, I do like the look of these doors. How like they how they shine and everything once they're uh, unlockable. I, I don't know. I just like the uh, glow effect they have going on, but. Yeah, um, Dragon Road Day. This is probably one of my. The, this is, um, arguably even higher up on my day stage tier list than even, like, sp sp I was about to say Spring Away. <laughs> I don't know what level I'm talking about, but, um, yeah, I. This is one of my favorite levels in the game. Um, like, especially on the HD, but. On the Wii, this might be my this might be my favorite day stage in this version. Um, it's a toss up between this um, and possibly Eggman Land. I'm not sure. Uh, I have to think about that. Um, yeah, there's a lot of different passwords here. Um, like in the first like couple like seconds, really, we could have gone to this pathway or the middle or the right, and they all have their own like design and like stuff going on there. So there's quite a lot to explore here and also having Sonic bump into that. It's always fun. Um, 
and there's um there's a cool shortcut later on in the level two. I'll just do that. Yeah, like I said before, I love the um the um quick time events in this game because like the rest of the game, how it encourages quick reaction times. Um, the the quick time events like uh, reward uh, quick thinkers. Like if if you like just think on your feet, you have to press these buttons quickly, and then you oftentimes get sent to a higher uh, section of the level or a shortcut, if you will. Um, and I feel like that's a really cool way of implementing a quick time event system into the day stages. And I feel like it works pretty well, all things considered. Now if we go to the left here, this is a massive shortcut that sends you into this little uh, cave area and just bypasses all that stuff on the left there. And, um, that's not intentional, but <laughs> that's also a shortcut you can do. Man, these these stages like go by so quickly. It's kind of nuts. And um, yeah, yeah, screw that guy. <laughs> okay, camera shot here, and um, that's the end of the stage. Um, and good. I love how it ends with the cherry blossom trees. Sweet. It's a nice little spectacle. Or like visual thing thing going on. Not really spectacle, I don't know why I said that, but like, it's nice. But of course, there's more going on, um, so we need to do the remaining uh, missions. Uh, but nothing. Most of the time, they're not really that much to write home about in the way. It's pretty much just do do the specific area from the regular day stage, but you need to get the rings now and stuff like that. It's not as interesting as it could be, but I will I'll take this over the um hot dog missions at least, because at least it's just a small chunk of the stage and then you can be done with it. It's not the HD one where you do the hot dog missions and like you have to get the, the amount of rings and then you have to do the whole stage. And you have to do it two more times, like beyond that, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm not fine with that. Either way, though, uh, I did not get the rings. Yeah, so. Can we get enough in time? Can we get back? No. Okay. Okay, hurry up. Find something, dang it! No, I ran. Yeah, okay, just restart. That sucked. Okay, round two. Here we go! Yep, good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, can we like do it this time? B A A. Okay. It always throws me off. Throws me off when it like changes the um, line drums. Okay, yeah, we got this in the bag now. This Unless I just jump over all that, I thought there was going to be a boost ring or something. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're fine, we're fine. No problem. Cool. And the third stage is, um... A uh, call back to uh, Secret Rings, funnily enough. Here we Yep. We're gonna get through this whole section without breaking any jars. 
think there's a... Uh, a venom in the right I was trying to change the camera. Okay, now I think it's in the regular stage, but there is an item down there at some point. I guess not now though. Oh. No! <laughs> I thought it would send me back to uh, my checkpoint. Here okay. we... Let's try this again. This isn't this isn't particularly hard, you just need to be a, a bit more careful with uh, your movement. We didn't have an extra stage with the Werehog that was basically just this. Um, so, there's nothing we haven't seen before. Especially since, again, that this cool, this uh, harkens back to some of the levels in Secret Rings, funnily enough. But, yeah. yeah it's really not that hard. I think we did it earlier. It's, God, it's been so long since I did the Holoska stages. I think we we did the um, stage where you had to avoid the icicles. Um, and the version the version of the of like don't break the obstacles is much harder there than it is there, to be honest. Okay, what, what stages are available? Let's just reach the goal and scaped. Okay. So we can do this, and then we should be all good. In theory. Oh, okay. This is a this is a cool stage. So this is one of those instances where the um, extra stage is actually a full new level, like with its own level design and everything. And I think that's really cool. Like it, it makes you like sometimes. Like, want to check out the new missions because sometimes they might give you a whole new stage. But I, f I feel like it would have been better if they were just all new acts instead. Like they were all just regular new acts, like they are in the HD one. Um, but I, I don't know. The fact that they they do have some stages where it's new level design is fairly cool in and of itself. So I can't harbor it too much, especially since this one here is ridiculously short. Um, like, we're almost at the end. For reference. So, uh, it's fine. But I feel like I would have preferred it if they were just regular new acts like they are in the other version. It is what it is. No problem! Cool. And that's that. So... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all we can... That's all the stuff we can do, so... Yeah, see you for Tune and Dare on the HD one. Yeah. 
So I, I I had to stay quiet there because like like how we went into the into the uh, night into this place at night and I wanted to just let the music speak for itself. I wanted to do the same for the day uh, for the this day portion because I like the uh, the the day hub music is also just as good. So I. I yeah, wise. <laughs> uh, the day portion, the day uh, track is just as good, um, so I wanted to um, have it play out as well. And God, <laughs> I just love the hubs in this game. They're just so beautiful. The music and everything, like the environment, I just, everything, man. Okay, so. Um, now we're getting to a point where people have somewhat of an issue of um, with this game's controls in the sense that the home attack and the and the air boost button are the same, and um, there can be instances where like you wanted to just do a home attack and you just did an air boost instead and just fly off the stage, and so you want to be careful. You want to make sure that the reticule or the the um the uh, targeting thing is on the actual Here like we? enemy or object no! you want a home and attack to, otherwise like <laughs> problems could arise. Um, but regardless of that, this is one of my favorite stages in the game. One of my favorite gay stages, and um, it's just a lot of fun to plow through the stage. Like there's a lot of um, there's a lot to it, uh, I'm bad with words right now, but like, there's some secrets at the start where you can find some medals, and um, that was actually a really good instance of showing off how the air boost can screw you over, but yeah, at the start of this level, like, you start off with this quick step section, and um, there's um, Got some medals you can get for like just through these secret paths. Um, jump here, you get a bunch of rings, and just. Oh, that. There's like a lot of stuff where it, it encourages you to experiment with the level design and um, kind of explore in a different way. Like, this game has exploration, but not in the same way as some of the other games. Um, like you, it wants you to like, kind of put you um, in danger more often than not. Like th the pathways and secrets are a lot more dangerous than they are in the other games. I feel um, so. You, you want to be wary of that. 
and like it's at the start where you make that massive jump to get to those um, boost rings, whatever you want to call them. Um, like that's cool. Also, high eagle. That <laughs> looks like he came right from the. What is it? Damn it! No. Oh, duh. Wait, let's restart. <laughs> I know there's a medal in there. Thankfully our medal's saved, so he don't have to do everything again. Good. Yeah. I was saying though, um... I, I... This this is definitely one of my favourite stages in this game. Like, I love the, um, sense of challenge. Like, this is a very challenging level. And I feel like... It kinda works because this is fairly far into the game now um, so the, it makes sense for the challenge to start rising up um, and yeah, the, this is where like it gets a lot more dangerous to like try and go through like some of the up, up, other pathways and whatnot um, and I don't know I, I feel like it's one of the most rewarding stages to just explore and find stuff in and it has some platforming as well, which, uh, again, I, like I said before, it's not this the boost strong suit, but um, stuff like that, this I think works fine enough. Like, it's not too crazy involved, but it, it's enough to make it work. No, 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 let's get the medal first. And I don't think there's anything else in here. Nope. Let's have this cool sequence here. And you can make this faster by doing dr like using your drift but it's also a lot more dangerous so I'm gonna be careful about that. And this is a cool sequence here. Like we could just we could go through like these bridges and go on these roofs and whatnot like we're doing now. Or we could have gone across the water and found a um, a firework that sent us further into the level. Um, so there's just um, secret areas you can find that make you play the level a little bit differently. And um, yeah, there's more going on in these levels than some people give them credit for. And yeah, it's, it's a great time. I, I really do love this stage. Like there's it, there's some platforming involved that makes it a bit more interesting and um, there's a lot of uh, cool secrets to find um, and yeah it's a really well-rounded stage in my opinion and I personally I, I personally say that this is um, overall better than the one in the Wii even though I still really like that okay metal <laughs> and uh, well that goes that gives my S rank that sucks That's fine. Sure, this off there. Hey, jeez. You know, my thoughts have kind of been going all over the place in this stage, but yeah, it's a good, it's a good level. I really like it. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's go around. Now for this last section. Uh, so, yeah, this is, I guess, um, for the day stages, the uh, versions have like a roll reversal. Um, whereas, like, on the Wii, we saw this guy as early as uh, Abyssos Day. Whereas in this game, uh, we don't. This, I think, this is the first time we're seeing him. So, I, it's kind of funny how that works. Whereas, like, in the night stages, it's the complete opposite, like, we saw the Titan enemy in the first level, and then we didn't see him until, like, Chunan Nai in this game, in, in the way. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have the Cherry Blossoms, um, which would have been amazing to see in HD, but... 
Unfortunately, it just wasn't meant to be. No, either way, though, we do still have two more stages to play. Um, yeah, let's just go back. I don't want to exit the world just yet. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna feel so. It's gonna suck to have to say goodbye to this place because it, it is one of my favorite worlds in the game, like I said. And um, yeah, it's mainly mainly to do with the day stages. Like the day stages specifically are some some of my favorite stages in this game. Um, the nice day, the um, Act One specifically. Act Two was pretty good, all things considered. But I, Act One was fairly basic, but. It's mainly to do with the day stages, why this is one of my favourite areas. Um, but we will go back here with, like, DLC and whatnot later on. We do st and I do want to do as many of the town missions as possible, so we won't be saying, saying goodbye to this place permanently, but it will be less of a focus after this point, unfortunately, because... Uh... Okay, <laughs> I was about to say, I thought my game crashed, because that has happened once when I tried loading in Missouri, like, Savannah Citadel Day, and it just crashed on me, so yeah, and my, my disc isn't exactly in the best condition, but yeah, thankfully that didn't happen. Hopefully I can get through this playthrough without too many uh, issues, let's say. But the, ne the next time I play this game after this playthrough, ideally would will be when I get like a co copy of the X Xbox version and play on the Xbox Series X. Because like, the idea of playing this game with uh, no frame rate issues is just a wet dream. <laughs> like, I'd love to do that. Unfortunately, I don't have a Series X and I don't really feel like I should be in a rush to get one. So that's why I'm just using my old PS3 for this. Um, like, it would be great if Sega re-released this game, but that's not the world we live in, so we've got to make do. And I can't believe I reacted to that in time. Um, but yeah, this is basically what we saw earlier with uh, Spagonia Day Act 2, uh, where we had, had to go through a um, linear uh, section that gets harder and harder by each pass-through. Um, and yeah, what can I say? It's, it's, Fun, fun little reaction challenge. It's a fun little test to test your reaction times and whatnot. And I almost screwed up horribly. I can't believe I survived. Um, just do that. Careful. Don't want to hang inside there. That's a little bit of a trick. Yeah, you always want to press the X button for that. Thing. What the thing that shoots you out? Not on us, but hey, it's fine. And now we just have to do Act Three, which I think is like super short for my remember. It's like this one platforming section, and then that's it. <laughs> 